Good afternoon everybody and hello and welcome to a very quick, very short how-to video. So, uh, one of the most common questions uh, that, that is posed out there by the World of Warships community, especially new players, um, is, you know, how do you, you know, how do you, how do your captains progress, how do you grind out your captains and things like that. So, what I'm going to cover in this video is a couple of uh, a couple of hints and tips that will hopefully give you some help and advice as you go through your as you grind through the tiers and things like that. First thing to think about is number one, you do not need to get a new commander with every ship. Self-explanatory for those of you who may have uh, been playing World of Tanks, for example. Um, not if you haven't though. So you don't need to play. And you don't need to get a brand new commander with every ship. Don't worry about that. It's not required. What you can do, though, is you can move the commander from one ship to the next and to the next um, as is required. So for this example, uh, I've got the Tier 4 Kaiser here. I've already ground out the, uh, the, the entire German battleship line. Um, so... You know, as, you can, as we can see, uh, if we filter on battleships and Germany, as you can see, we've got the Koenig, the Bayern. Uh, the Koenig doesn't have a commander either, but what we'll do is we'll use this as an example of moving the commander along. Um, so as you can see, I've no commander trained in the Bayern, nor in any other ship either. So we'll go back to our Kaiser. Um, so our Kaiser has Dasha Perova as a commander. Um, I've assigned her to it, but I haven't trained. As you can see, she has a specialization of the Hermlin. The Hermlin is the tier one uh, German crew, German ship. She has 10 skill points available to her. However, retraining is required. So if we click into Dasha, it says that we have to retrain the commander to enable the progress on this ship. Now, what that means is basically any skills that we apply to Dasha will not be effective on the Kaiser and as such they will be yet they will be orange. So if we go through and spec her up, so we'll give her preventative maintenance, it goes orange. As you can see the effect of the skill is reduced during training, so it only helps for 50%. So rather than getting you know the full bang and everything like that, we only get half of the effectiveness of that skill. You still get it, but you don't get the full effect. To get the full effect, Dasher needs to be trained to helm the Kaiser. So, there's a big button here that says Start Retraining. When we click this, we get several options available for us. It says Senior Command Course, which is 500 doubloons, or about £1.40, £1.50, depending on what your local denomination is. 200,000 credits will train her to 50%. That's important, we'll come back to that later. Or for free, where you basically start from scratch and you have to grind out the, 20, the, the the XP that you know this commander ha that she has. When you get a ten point commander from the armor or anything like that, um, it's normally about twenty five thousand point hit points of command XP that you require to grind in order to unlock the ten points that are uh, for this camp for the, for this. Now, obviously, you can do that very easily um, with camos and flags and things like that. However, if you haven't got access to them, it's going to take you a little bit of time. So bear that in mind. Okay. One thing that the game is very good at is it does give you, as you go through the game and as you play your daily missions and things like that, you can earn this. Now this is Elite Commander XP. Elite Commander XP is basically experience that you can use against any commander that's already unlocked in the game. You don't have to pay to unlock this, it's already unlocked. Now, if you have any 19 point captains, you will automatically be grinding this um, now, a 19 point, 19 points is the maximum amount of points that a commander can have on them in World of Warships. Um, any commander XP that a 19 point commander um, accrues automatically gets put into your elite commander XP. Now, there are several uses for elite commander XP. The most obvious one is boosting the commander up to 19 points so that you can make full use of all the skill, of, of skills available to them. Um, up to yourself whether you do that but there is also another very good use so what we'll do is we'll back into retraining now and as we said 
500 doubloons to retrain her with no without without penalty. So what that does is basically, if you have a 10 point commander from one ship, you retrain it with 500 doubloons, you still have a 10 point commander. Not everybody wants to do that though, okay? You don't have to spend money to do this. If you have some elite commander XP, you can do option two. Option two is you spend 200,000 credits, which will train you to half of the half the way through. So we can select that. Select start retraining for 200,000 credits. Yes. And as we can see, Dasha is now halfway done on training to be able to command the Kaiser. But we've got we've got crew skills on on the ship and they're still not active. That's because she's not fully trained in the base ship. So we want to unlock that though, but we don't want to spend any more credits, we don't want to spend any more X, we don't we don't want to spend any doubloons. What you can do is you can click the plus square here. And as you can see, we can use twelve and a half thousand of our elite commander XP. And there we go. We now have access to the other nine points, but you'll notice that the preventative maintenance has gone from orange to the same colour as everything else. That's because this is now effective. So previously it said this is only operating at 50%. So instead of a 30% reduction on your modules being incapacitated, it was a 15% prior to that. It's now 100%. It's now 30%. It's now the proper, the full set of the skill. So we'll go through and we will stick some skills on. Not really going to spec in anything special. Um, you know, we'll we'll just put a, we'll just put some random skills on, and there we go. We've used ten points, and we spec Dasher on our Kaiser. Please don't take this as a, a spec for the Kaiser either. By the way, guys, this is just for demonstration purposes. So, we now have Dasher Perova at the helm of the Kaiser. Ten skill points applied, and you know we've put on some some skill points few weeks down the line, we come to the Koenig. So we've unlocked the Koenig. Uh, the Koenig. We're ready to uh, start playing with it. However, we haven't put a commander in it. What can we do? Well, what we can do to move the commander along is we will go to assign a commander. We will find our Kaiser, the Dasher at the helm here. We'll select Dasher, and as you can see, retrain the commander to enable progress on the ship. So that means we can put Dasher in the ship, but as per before, we have to do the retraining. So, what we'll do, again, is we'll take our 200,000 credit option, and we'll retrain for 12 and a half, we'll, we'll retrain her to the, 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 uh, to the Koenig. Now, as before, our, uh, our, our, our skills here are in orange, so they're operating at 50% of what they would do normally. So we have 15% chance of the modules becoming incapacitated. The reload times there the, on the reduction is inactive for Adrenaline Rush because it's such a small percentage anyway, it's not going to take any effect at all until we retrain her fully to the Koenig. Again... It's five percent, and it's five percent for the reload time and everything like that. And it's also only a five percent increase, uh, sorry, a ten percent and a seven and a half percent for the skills in AFT. But again, we can click the plus square. We can spend twelve and a half thousand commander XP, and there we go. We haven't spent any doubloons, and we've we've moved a commander from the tier four up into tier five. Now, bearing in mind that, be, please bear in mind that the amount of, elite, of commander XP required to do that will change depending on how many skills you have on a commander. If you have a 19-point commander, it will be inordinately expensive. More, than, but as obviously, you know, it grows depending on how many commander points and skills you have. Um, and there we go. Dead easy. Dead simple. Hopefully it's been really clear and understandable for you. 
Um, any questions, please put them in the comments of the video below and I will try to answer them as best I can do. Um, if you've got anything else that you'd like to add, please feel free to do so. Um, thank you all. Catch you all soon. Bye.